This is Britt Caswell with another example video. In this video, I'm covering example 3 from section 3-3 in the Savas Realize Algebra 2 textbook. So in this example, we are using the polynomial identities to factor and to simplify. So what I've done is here in green, I have actually written down the polynomial identities that come to mind. I recommend having the formula list just somewhere in your notes so that you could quickly reference these formulas. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on trying to identify um, you know, which of the identities we're supposed to be using in order to factor it. All right. So on part A here, I have some perfect squares, all right, 9 and 25. Those are uh, 3 squared and 5 squared, respectively. So this is telling me I'm probably using some kind of square formula. Now, the thing being squared, it's it's not in parentheses. So this is probably a difference of squares. All right. Now, if I look at that, this is the same thing as 3m squared being squared minus uh, 25 is 5, and then n to the third is being squared. So I'm going to use this difference of squares formula up here. And so what this does is this splits into two expressions being multiplied, one being plus, one being minus, where the value being squared goes in the front for the first term and then the back for the second term. Now, whenever you do these, you always want to double check because sometimes you get kind of like this Russian doll effect where one of these is um, still inside the answer. I don't see any of these, so this is this is my final factored form, but just be aware that happens sometimes. So now this one, we have an x cubed, so that tells me I'm probably looking for either this second one or the third one. I should number these. Okay, so on this one I used number one. So I'm going to use either the second one or the third one. It has a minus, so I'm probably going to use the third formula here, which is the difference of cubes. First thing I want to do is take the cube root of 216 and see what that is. Um, I think it's 4. No, it's not. So you want to use your calculator and, and check out some cube roots. It's actually 6. So here my A value is X and my B value is 6. And so I'm going to use this difference of cubes formula. So it says A minus B times a squared plus a b plus b squared. I know it's a little weird with all these little sub parentheses, but we'll figure it out. So where the a's are, I'm going to plug in an x. So there's an a here, here, and here. And where my b's are, I plug in a 6. So now I'm just kind of cleaning it up. So x minus 6 is fine. x squared, I don't need parentheses. x times 6 is 6x. And then here, 6 squared is 36. So then I would always double check to see if this is factorable. I don't believe it is. No, it's not. So this is my final factored form. Now this one, again, they're getting quirky with their numbers. We don't normally apply these to numbers. But we have two cube values being added. So I'm going to use this formula up here. Okay. So it's, that was what, formula 2? So we have a plus b times a squared plus a, b, plus b squared, I believe. Let me double check to make sure my signs are there. That one should be a minus, not a plus. 
There we go. So now where my A's are, I'm going to plug in an 11. So I have an 11 here, here, and here. And where my B's are, I plug in a 5. Now is it probably faster to just cube those and add them? Of course. But this is just getting you some number sense. So here 11 plus 5 is 16. Here 11 squared is 121. Oops, didn't need those parentheses yet. Um, 11 times 5 is 55, and 5 squared is 25. So now negative 55 plus 25, that's negative 30. So 121 minus 30 is 91. So I need to find 16 times 91. I'm just going to do what I should have done. Plug it into a calculator. And I get... 1,456. So now part A here, now we're looking for some kind of pattern. So these are even, so I'm probably going to do some kind of squares thing. And 9 is a perfect square, so I'm imagining I'm going to use the difference of squares formula. Let's check our formulas. Alright, there were no parentheses in the original thing, so I'm going to use this difference of squares formula, which is formula number one. And so we have to find our A value and our B value, and then we'll have A plus B and A minus B. So here the thing being squared, I just take the 8 and divide it by 2, so I have M to the fourth. And here if I take the square root, Square root of 9 is 3, n to the 5th. And so that's what I'm going to plug in to our formula here. So there's where my a's go, here's where my b's go. And then double check, make sure that you can't just factor this again. So neither of those is factorable, so we are good with what we got. Alright, now on part b, seeing a lot of threes going on. Alright, um, nine and six, those are both something being cubed, right? Because they're both divisible by three. Uh, 27 I know is three times three times three. So the last thing I want to do is I want to see if 343 has a cube root. Which it does, it's seven. So this is a difference of cubes. And so the difference of cubes, scroll, 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 is right up here. It's it's option number three. Okay, so I'm going to be using that difference of cubes formula to help me out. So I need to identify my A and identify my B. And then the formula itself says A minus B times a squared plus a b plus b squared. Alright, so again, I'm taking the cube root of this. So this is 3x cubed. And then here I said the cube root of 343 was 7. And then y squared, because 6 divided by 3 is 2. So where the a's are, I'm putting in 3x cubed. And then where my b's are, I'm going to plug in 7y squared. And then we have to go through our cleanup step on that second set of parentheses. Okay, so there's our first one. Now here, 3 squared is 9. And x cubed squared is x to the 6th. And then 3 times 7 is 21. x cubed y squared. And then here, 7 squared is 49. And then y squared is y to the 4th. Alright, 
right now on C here. Um, again, this is a weird one with numbers. We wouldn't normally do this. But we do have an addition of two cubic numbers. So we're going to use the second formula that was on that list, which is the sum of cubes. So where A is, I'm going to plug in 12, and where B is, I'm going to plug in 2. And so what the formula says, it says A plus B, and then we have A squared minus AB plus B squared. So where the A's are, I plug in a 12. Where the B's are, I plug in my 2. So here, 12 plus 2 is 14. Here, 12 squared is 144. Uh, 12 times 2 is 24. And 2 times 2 is 4. Um, 124, or sorry, 144 minus 24 is 120, plus 4 is 124. And then if you multiply those two together, you get 1,736. Which is again weird, not something I'd do. But the ones with variables are things that we'd see fairly regularly. So there you have it. That is using polynomial identities to factor and simplify. Until next time.